Um, <laughs> it's really great to have you here. You. And your phone just must be ringing off the hook with people going, how did I miss this trade? Yeah. It's been busy. It's been busy for sure. I mean, and if you went back a few months ago and asked, you know, with 7% interest rates, would we expect this? The answer for most people would say is you know, absolutely not. Right. And yet it turns out that the most inflationary thing that rate hikes have done is keep everyone from wanting to sell their home. So there's no existing inventory on the market because people have to go somewhere. They don't want to pay these rents. They don't want to, you know, pay up for a new mortgage. And so therefore the home builders are off to the races. But how much further can it really go? We think it has quite a bit of legs, to be honest with you. I mean, it is a great time to be a public home builder. And if you think about it, to your point, there is zero existing home supply, three months to be exact. The private builders, which are 60 percent of the market on the new home sales side, can't get land, can't get labor, can't get materials. Right. And so all of a sudden, the demand that's out there, which, oh, by the way, is improving, is all being channeled towards these public home builders that can offer financing. So no one's paying 7 percent. They're paying 6 percent or five and a half percent. And it's all sort of being funneled up into them. Yeah. So they're grabbing the market share while existing homeowners are sitting tight, looking at mortgage rates and saying, well, I can't afford to take a new mortgage on. I'm, I'm at 3% now. So I guess my question for you is, how does that change, right? Do we have to wait until rates come down at some point in the maybe distant future at this point? Or is this like a psychological thing where the existing homeowners just kind of have to come to terms with it and go through the seven stages of grief and realize if they want to move, they're going to have to pay a higher rate? That's a great question, Eamon. And I think, I think you hit it at the latter portion of that. It's exactly what's going to happen. It's an adjustment period. And we saw the same thing on the new home sales side where folks, you know, rates went up to 7%, everyone stepped back. And then, you know, adjust it over time. And that's exactly what's going to happen on, on the new on the existing homes. How long does that take for people to process that? And you, and you think some of these people who are sitting in their homes now are going to get off the sideline and get into the market? Well, for the public home builders, we hope it takes a little bit of time. You hope. Yeah, you want some running room. <laughs> but I think, you know, the, the amount of time, it's, it's hard to say. We haven't seen these kind of sharp moves in rates in a very long time. So I would say, you know, give it, give it some time, give it, give it six months maybe, and I think folks will start getting a little bit more accustomed to the higher interest rate environment.